Hello YouTube, Reflex here with another Minecraft video and today I've got myself uh, a very cool design that I want to show you and to demonstrate that I've got myself a wooden button on a blue block of wool and a redstone torch. Now when I push this button you'll notice that when the button press comes out the torch turns off. When I do it again you notice it happens again. So this is a very simple concept and it's been used for quite a long time in Minecraft. Uh, but not as compact as this. Now, this design uses a very new feature that's been added in 1.4.2, and that new feature is locking repeaters. Now, I've managed to make myself a silent T flip flop that is falling edge using locking repeaters. Now, I am very happy with this because this didn't take me too long to figure out, as I just used a sort of improvised design from my last monostable circuit, which was in my last video. And if you haven't seen that, go check that out right now. Cool, so now that you've had a look at that, let's get started. Alright, so here is the design completely uncovered for those of you that wanted to see it like this. And as you can see, it's not too bulky, not resource heavy at all, it's pretty resource light, and yeah, it looks pretty fancy. The only thing I'm not too happy about is the fact that it's falling edge, and that just means that it occurs, or the T-flip-flop changes when the button press comes out or when the power turns off. So yeah, not too happy about that. Right, so I guess I'll show you how to build this thing. So what you're going to want to do is put a block there and put a torch on the side of this block like this. And just to note, this will be in the 3x3 grid like this. Uh, no redstone underneath it, nothing like that necessary. Cool. So then you're going to want to put a bit of redstone like this on the other side of this block. And do not worry, these will not interfere as this is going into a repeater there and another repeater there. Then you're going to want to put two repeaters here like that and one repeater facing into this one like that. You're going to want to put a block there, and now all you need to do for timing wise is put one tick extra on that and one tick extra on that. So you've got two tick repeater and the two tick repeater there, and then the rest are one tick. Cool. So all you need to do is whack in your input, give it a test. Yep, works perfectly. Great. So that's pretty much it. So don't forget to like this video if you liked it, comment if you want to, subscribe for more from me, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Now, before I go, I do want to just say that I'm starting a new series, which is called Compacted. Basically, this is where a series where you get designs that you've found out there on the web that you think I can compact. So, please, just start sending in designs or find des finding designs and just tell me of them. Either send me a link, send me a video link, or basically share a video with me. Or you can just tell me about it and I'll see if I can find it myself. Cool.